Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to enable your rear fog light on your F80 BMW M3. Now, uh, this option is enabled on F30s and uh, I believe F80s in Europe as well. Uh, but for some reason in the US, F80s do not come with that option enabled. And actually, if you look at the switch over here, both the front and the rear uh, fog light switches are completely blank and you cannot press them. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to two things enable this switch so you can actually press it and two to code your car to enable the rear fog light. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the vent and that should be pretty straightforward. You basically find a place where you can pull from and start pulling. See you just pull up and the vent is out. And then we have to take this light switch out. There are two clips that you can undo from the top. You basically push them down. See, you push the clips down and push them forward. And that should, there we go. Ugh. Okay. And then there's a little connector here that you simply disconnect. See, these are the clips that I was talking about. So as you're pulling it out, you push the clips in and that just uh, dislodges uh, the light switch. So the next step is manual labor. And let me take you to my workbench and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we've got a light switch over here and essentially you're focusing on the bottom button. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually made this video yesterday, uh, but for some reason it came out in slow motion. So I already enabled the bottom switch. So today what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to enable the top switch, which is exactly the same as doing the bottom switch. But essentially, you have to pull the switch out. So what you have to do is you flip it upside down and you see these tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. You just have to undo them. One, two, and it's very easy. Three, four, five, six. This is going to now fall out. And don't worry, there's one way to put it back so you can't mess up. And now essentially, so you're gonna be doing the bottom switch. You're gonna be taking out the bottom switch. I'm gonna be taking out the top switch just to show you how to do it. But you see, you cannot press it. This, pr this switch is not operational. So you push it out, basically just slide your thumb and it pushes out. And now what you have to do is, you see this, each switch has a little tab. Uh, there's, uh, there's this little tab here and when you flip it over, there's this little tab and this little tab. So, and these are the ones that are preventing the switch from put, uh, going in. Uh, so basically what you have to do is you have to shave these tabs. One, two, and then three. And to do so, we grab a trusted knife and essentially you just gotta be very careful. Uh, you just kinda shave it in layers, you see? Shave it, shave it, that's been shaved. Then you flip it upside down, you shave it. And then you shave this one. Cool. So as you can see, the tabs have been shaved from here and here. So now when we go ahead and put it back, see, it goes in and out, in and out. Uh, and let me show you, so technically this is the one that we're gonna be focusing on. So let me take out the fog light one just to show you what I did to the fog light one. See, this is shaved and in the back, one and two, those things are shaved as well. So that's all you have to do. Put the switches in, reassemble it, and check this out. Both switches work, but the bottom one is the one that we're focusing on. So now we're gonna install it back in the car and start coding. So reinstalling it is very straightforward. You plug the switch back in, push the bottom first, then the top, and then reinstall the vent. Good. By the way, if you haven't seen my previous video, 
these things you can get for about 12 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it in the description and these things are awesome. But anyways, you see, the switches work. Now let's get to coding. For coding, we're gonna use my uh, VPAC OBD connector. We'll plug it in here and we're gonna be using a Beamer Code app. I already made a video in the past on easy coding. Today we're gonna be doing some advanced coding, uh, but you can refer to the previous video on setting up everything. Uh, so ignition turned on, there you go, Beamer Code connect. Okay, so we just got to the menu. Before you do anything, just keep in mind that you always have to be in the airplane mode. Uh, so you hit airplane mode, uh, just because when you're coding, you don't want the connection to be interrupted. And I explained all of that in my previous video. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to front electronic module. And once you're in the menu, you hit expert mode. It'll give you a warning, hit continue. Then you scroll down until you hit 3060 LCE master. And then you scroll down until you see NSL underscore verbout, whatever that means. And just make sure that this option is set to verbot, verbout. I don't, I don't know speak German. Uh, just make sure this option is selected. In my case, I already did it yesterday, so it's been coded. Uh, so you can exit out. Uh, then we go back and then we go to rear electronic module, REM. You hit that. Now that we're in the menu, again, you go down here to expert mode, hit expert mode, continue after the warning. So in the expert mode, you go to 3063. And then here uh, you go to uh, mapping underscore uh, nebble something L output you switch that to NSL underscore L, and you go to function, uh, make sure this is enabled, and then you go to the same one, nibble slumping right output, make sure that option is enabled, NSL underscore R, and then you go to function, uh, make sure this option for nibble slumping option is enabled, and that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna code it out now because I've already uh, coded it, but if everything works, why did the light just shut off? <laughs> uh, if everything works, uh, we should be good to go. And one of the easiest way to check if it worked is you put the ignition back on, you put your lights on, and when you hit the fog light, you will get that extra fog light, amber light here. And it looks like it's on, 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 off, on, off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on. So I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, I hope you can potentially use this uh, option when it's really foggy. But for the most part, it was a cool DIY and now you have the capability to do this yourself. Don't be afraid of coding, don't be afraid of wrenching, don't be afraid of DIYing because it is really fun. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.